Hi, I'm Anton, the designer of the Oru Kayak. Let's start at the beginning. This is the box that an Oru Kayak ships in. Inside, you'll find a few items, including an assembly guide, which has the graphic steps to assemble your kayak, an owner's manual, which includes important product and safety information, and a warranty registration card, which you can mail in. You can also register online for ongoing service for Moru Kayak. I'm going to walk you through the steps of putting yours together. With practice, it will only take a few minutes, but the first few times will probably take a good bit longer. Be patient, you'll learn the steps, and it will get easier to assemble as the folds and parts break in and become more flexible. First, undo the straps that loop around the box. Remove them and set them aside. Now, unclip the buckles that hold the lid closed. The lid will become the floorboard of the kayak. Next, take out all the loose parts inside of the kayak box. The stern bulkhead will add rigidity to the assembled kayak. The two seam channels close up the kayak deck and make it watertight. The seat pad is what you'll sit on. A single bag includes deck straps and replacement hardware. The rubber straps hold accessories. The extra hardware is in case anything needs maintenance or repairs. The backrest is what you'll lean against. The column attached to it also supports the back of the cockpit. Unclip the buckles at the side of the box. Now, grab the folded areas near the two orange stickers. These stickers, and a few others you'll see later, are removable and are only there to guide in the assembly. Now, pull apart the two sides of the kayak to open up the box. As you unfold it, pop the kayak flat with your hands so it looks like this. Note the bow, or front, and stern, or back of the kayak. The bow end has an attached bungee, footrest, and bulkhead. Pay attention to this orientation throughout the rest of the video. Also, make sure that the bow and stern are folding inward as shown. Now, place the two loose seam channels on the edge of the kayak deck, between the cockpit and the attached seam channels at the bow and stern. The two seam channels are identical, so they can go on in any order. The loose stern bulkhead pops into the channels at the rear of the kayak. The front bulkhead attaches in the same way. It's permanently connected to the kayak through the bungee and footrest assembly. To close up the kayak, you'll work in stages. First, buckle the two deck straps closest to the cockpit, just in front and just in back of it. Don't tighten them up just yet, that will come a few steps later. Next, you'll insert the floorboard, which was formerly the lid of the box. The black plastic plate is the back of the floorboard and goes towards the stern of the kayak. First, fold the floorboard into a tube shape, as shown. Insert the floorboard into the cockpit. The two cockpit handles will now lock into the combing, which is another word for the rim around the cockpit. First. Place the edge of the handle into the groove on the combing as shown. Rotate the handle to lock it onto the combing. Folding the floorboard upward, as shown, will help to lock on the handles more easily. It will snap in place loudly when it's fully engaged. First, place the boomerang-shaped rib so that the keyhole on the end goes over the farthest shiny screw. Now, tighten the deck strap so that both shiny screws feed into the slots at the top of the joining rib, and both edges of the deck go into the seam channel. Close the latch to keep the ends of the combing together. Work towards the bow to close the front deck of the kayak. Snap each deck buckle closed and tighten the straps. Make sure that both edges of the deck fit snugly into the seam channels. To fully close the seam, it may help to press downward as you tighten the straps. Avoid pulling upwards on the ends of the straps, as this can cause the buckles to pull loose. First, place the backrest column into the black plastic plate at the back of the floorboard. 
Place the tongue in the slot, then rotate it up to lock it in. Put the two keyholes in the backrest column over the two shiny screws as shown. Now, tighten the deck strap behind the cockpit. As in the front, make sure that both deck edges go into the seam channel. Then, close the latch to secure the combings. Continue closing up the rear deck of the kayak, working towards the stern, just as you did for the front of the kayak. First, close the rubber end straps by pulling them over the buttons. Then, pull the neoprene fairings over the end points. Clip the fairing buckles onto the deck strap. Now, take the rubber deck straps out of their bag. The X-shaped strap goes on the four buttons just in front of the cockpit. The I-shaped strap goes on the two buttons closer to the bow. Insert the seat pad under the bungee on the floorboard. The notch in the seat pad goes towards the front. The footrest is fully adjustable from inside the kayak. First, sit down in the cockpit. Pull on the footrest buckles to change their position. You want the balls of your feet against the footrest, with your knees bent and your kneecaps tight against the bottom of the deck. Now, you're good to hit the water. Check out our tips and tricks page for more information on how and where to paddle. Folding the Oru kayak back into its box is mostly a reversal of the assembly steps. Start by removing the fairings and the rubber end straps. Undo all of the deck buckles and rubber holding straps. Now unclip the backrest and undo the cockpit latch. Open up the rear of the cockpit. Now open the front of the cockpit. To remove the floorboard, just lift up on the center and the cockpit handles will disengage. Remove the two loose seam channels. The big fold transforms the kayak back into its box. First, note that there are two diagonal asymmetrical creases in the hull. Also, note the blue and green dot stickers. These will help you to orient the folds in the next steps. First, fold one end of the kayak inward like an accordion. You can use your hand or foot to help it fold inward. Do the other end in the same manner. Now, grab both ends of the kayak as shown. You'll fold the two ends so that they slide past each other. There's one correct direction for this step. Make sure that the two green stickers move towards each other and the two blue stickers move towards each other. Make sure to keep the attached footrest and bulkhead out of the way of the folding. To close up the box, kneel on top of it on the ground. Snap and tighten the deck buckles, which are now at the ends of the box. Tighten these straps as far as they'll go. Next, place all of the loose parts and accessories back in the box. Fold the floorboard over the closed box. Tighten the floorboard straps to keep the lid from sliding back and forth. Now, place and tighten the two loops that are attached to the shoulder strap. Make sure that the protective feet on the bottom of the kayak are properly oriented, so that the lip goes over the corner of the kayak box. You're ready to go. The shoulder strap will keep you going for short carries. For longer trips, we recommend the Oru Pack. Visit our website for more information and accessories.